Welcome back, Hive Mind. This is Shalzar with Hive Mind Gaming coming at you with another Summoner's Glory video. Today, we're going to take a look at our adventures here under activity, and we're going to look at the Rich Goblin and the Goblin Trove. But first, let's talk about you creating a character for Summoner's Glory. If you're new to Summoner's Glory and you want to start your own account, Make sure when you get to this screen where you're creating your character, whether it be male or female, down here at the bottom, it'll be a promo code, a, a spot for a promo code. Put promo code Shalazar in there, and that will help support the channel and get you some free swag. And that's the important part, right? You getting free swag. So just make sure you stick it right in there, Shalazar, while you're creating your character. If you pass this point, you won't be able to go back. So make sure you get it in there before you put it before you hit the create button. So, all right, back to our regular scheduled program. So rich goblins come in three different levels. We've got level 40, level 80, and then level 140. So basically what you're going to do is based on the level of your phantoms, you're going to want to choose the best one for you and go through it so let's take a look at level 40 so level 40 you've got the rich goblin uh it takes 30 uh energy to to do it and you're only on a limited time as of right now we've got the rich goblin and it gives a little fluff here uh about what the goblin is uh the goblin boss basically the rich goblins and we're gonna go in there and raid his booty um that sounded weird. So we're going to raid his coffers. There we go. That's better. Um, and then the random reward is 150,000 uh, gold. So when when you're leveling up, it doesn't really seem like you need that much gold. But now a good thing to always look at is your black market. And the reason it is because when you're leveling up, you're not necessarily going to be able to farm your uh, your runes all that all that good so what you could do is you can come in here and as you're leveling up always take a look at this stuff maybe even refresh it because like that right there is not bad when you're leveling up i mean it's random what your stats are going to be but you know what when you're leveling up and you don't really have the ability to farm higher level gear this is not a bad option to get good pieces of gear uh for i mean for instance i'm I don't have enough gold. I'm going to go have to rob the, the rich goblin of his uh, treasures so that I could buy that piece of gear. So the first thing we want to do, we want to go down here to activity. We want to open up the adventure and we want to go here. Now for level 80, you're looking at the same 30, but it's up to 180,000 gold and then 140 same 30 energy but up to 240 energy all right so let's go in and check it out and see what we can actually do here so when you go in there's always this first stage that's always going to uh basically be your uh your warm-up stage now your your champ or your heroes actually keep the damage that they receive when they're in combat so keep that in mind when you're going in here you want to make sure that you still have enough health to deal with the boss when you get to that later uh stage and this is where someone who heals your group uh like your dark gesture or someone like that um so that your group can maintain itself while going through the levels it's just like going through any other dungeon it's just in uh, waves instead of uh, actually physically going through a dungeon. So here's the next wave. You're going to deal with the Dracula Eye as your boss and then two little minions. And then again, you want again you want some uh, champions or phantoms that do uh, lots of damage, uh, lots of burst damage so that they can get their stuff back uh, quickly. And of course, uh, we're dying pretty fast. 
So we already lost Jester. So that may uh, that may actually come into effect. Now this is on auto, uh, so that we, you know, can just set it to go and and uh, and not have to worry about it. Now keep in mind, if you actually want to attack a specific uh, creature while on auto, you can always click on that creature, and it puts something above their head that uh, forces your our mate. It basically prioritizes that champion over all others when it comes to target priority for your champions. All right, and then we get to the Rich Goblin, who's the level three, and we're going to go ahead. We want to go ahead and target him. So you can barely see the little red dot over his head. And that will target him specifically in... Unless it's an AoE, it won't hurt any of his others. Or if they have special abilities like the leader where she hops around attacking different people. So now we're getting down to the down to the wire. We've got only two two heroes left. Your main my main hero and uh, one phantom. So let's see if they can pull this off. It might have been better to go after the little goblins uh, as well, especially since he's frozen. It, well, I mean, <laughs> Artemis, Artemis is just going ham. Oh, and there's the big slap. Yeah, there we go. All right. So it looks like we're going to pull this one out. The big, uh, the big crit by the, by the leader there. And we get 240,000, uh, silver and then an additional 100 there. All right, and then it gives us the ability to to uh, do it again. So that's pretty much it. And of course, just like always, it gives you the chance to uh, boost your equipment, evolve your champions, enchant your uh, your runes, or change your formation. So, and that's it. It's very simple. You just got to make sure that you have the right champs in there. Uh, sustain champs, defense champs, and of course your DP, your main DPS. And you you want the you want the ability to be able to uh, finish the dungeon because it does no it does no good to jump up here to level 140 if you don't have the ability to survive it. Now, if you can beat the boss, that's 240 thousand gold, which is great. So you definitely want to do that if you can, and you want to run that as much as you can so that uh so that you can get as much gold as you want because you're gonna need gold for the uh one if you want to buy runes early on in the game uh buy those runes to uh to better your champions your champions will get way stronger if they have really good runes on them so make sure you're always looking at the black market so that you can you can get good, get your hands on good runes that you can't farm yet. So if you're in the beginning of the game, because this is a beginner's guide and that's the whole reason for this. If you're in the beginning of the game, make sure you check the black market regularly and you're going to have tons of gold. Don't let that fool you. You're going to go through that gold real fast. So make sure that you're running your goblin, your rich goblin and your goblin trove on the daily so that you build that, that gold value up. Now, a lot of players, and I've even said this before, that in the beginning, you don't need to worry about the Goblin Trove or the Rich Goblin. I'm telling you, you do. Um, I, I, I take everything I said before, I take it all back. Uh, you want to run the Rich Goblin and you want to run the Goblin Trove because it's going to help you in the future, I promise you. Once you start leveling your champs, man, you will fly through that gold like... Uh, like a, like me when I was a kid with a cupcake. I'm just, I mean, you'll just fly right through it. I'm telling you. So next we're going to take a look at the 
goblin trove. So next we go to activity. We go down here to goblin trove and we open this up. So everyone should have got the gob the grotto of fearlessness. This is the this is the basic goblin trove. You can get up to 71,000 gold when completing this. These are your three bosses that you fight. You will fight the fire infector. Um, yeah, he's just a big bad werewolf. Uh, you've got Cyclopses, and then you've got the rich goblin at the end. And then, of course, the, the dungeon is filled with little goblins, different types of goblins. All right, then we've got the Grotto of Avarice. Uh, basically, it's the exact same thing. It's just the, the mobs are a little bit harder, and you get uh, up to 56,000 gold. And then lastly, uh, that I'm available to get is the Grotto of Bren banditry uh which is exactly the same but up to six, uh, 86 thousand and then you've got the grotto of theft and the grotto of thirst the grotto of thirst unlocks at character level 140 why the grotto, grotto of theft is at 180 and of course it gives you a little more gold each time now the obvious solution is if the rich goblin is available that's the one you'll want to do because because obviously you can get up to 240,000 gold with that level 140. Um, so, and it also depends on what you're able to do, right? It also depends on where, what level your, your champions are or your phantoms are so that you can, whatever you can beat, that's what you want to go with. But if the rich goblin is not open, like for instance, it showed that my rich goblin closes in six hours. If there's a chance where I need gold and the rich goblin's not open or available for me to go in there and steal his stuff, I can come over here to the Grotto of Wealth and pay only 20 uh, energy, which is cheaper, but cost energy versus cost of the gold or amount of gold that I get, you get more gold per energy with the uh, with the rich goblin. So. Let's go in and take a look at this dungeon. So the first, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna run into some gobos right at the beginning. So it's gonna give us a chance to quick join or enter instance. If you quick join, that's gonna, I think that's gonna enter you into a team instance. So we just wanna enter instance. There is no hard mode on this where most dungeons have a hard mode as well. So we're just going to enter the basic and we're going to run around, try to run around most of these goblins because I mean, is they're just annoying fights. They don't really give you anything other than uh, a little XP for your, for your phantoms, but all my phantoms are maxed out at the level that they are. So the only one getting XP is my, uh, main character, which, eh, whatever. She doesn't get a lot of, it's not a lot of XP that's worth my time. It's not enough XP that gives me worth my time. So you do get a little extra gold every time you fight them, by the way. So that might be something, uh, that might be a good reason to, uh, to fight them because you do get extra gold as you kill the different goblins. If you clear out the, uh, if you clear out the the whole dungeon, that's going to give you uh, the most amount of gold. So right now we're going to uh, where we're fighting the the three big bad werewolves, and they're they're pretty easy. I mean they they do hit pretty hard. So again, just like most dungeons, you want a champion in there or a phantom in there that gives you sustain. So someone that heals or protects your, your team. I think the next uh, video I do will be on buffs and debuffs th so that we can explain uh, what they do and, and things like that. So keep an eye out for that video and that should help you when coming, when one dealing with uh, other phantoms or, or enemies that give debuffs that place debuffs but will also help you with uh, knowing which debuffs to place on your enemies and which buffs you want on your uh, on your friendlies.
So that gave us 22,000 gold right there. So we're just going to go, well, we, let's go. The, the, the little red one gave us uh, 4,000, so or 400, I mean. So let's see if this guy gives us any different. So we should make short work of, of these guys. There you go. So anything that gives CC like this one, when it freezes the goblins, that's really good because it, it freezes them completely where they don't get a turn. Um, so anything that CCs your, your opponents is going to be a good debuff to take in situations like this. So that, yeah, 400. So it gave us the exact same amount. So now let's go fight this boss. If, the, if it activates, there we go. So it's the three Cyclopses. So they they actually can take a, a good, pretty good beating, but uh, they don't hit as hard as the as the uh, werewolves do. But they do have that stun, which is annoying. So here we are at the end of the fight. Uh, we don't have a lot. We didn't take a lot of damage. Um, let's see. Didn't really pop up what we got from that. Let's see if this guy's any different. I think all the goblins are going to be the same. It's just going to be 400. So we're going to make short work of these guys. So those guys are done. So as you can see, if you go in, yeah, 400 little XP. If you go in, you're going to be able to wipe out the goblins fairly quickly. Um, the bosses take just a few seconds. <laughs> uh, like the Cyclops, the Cyclops has probably took about two minutes. The, uh, the wolves didn't take that long. And I don't believe the boss is going to take that long either. But again, the higher the level of the dungeon, the, the longer the time is that the fights are going to take. So we, we kind of, we, we were able to skirt completely around. Um, we actually ran into two goblins uh, by trying to skirt around, but uh, then we fought two goblins on purpose. But sometimes when I come through here, I could probably finish the whole dungeon within, I mean, sec or within minutes. Um, sometimes a run takes anywhere from five to 10 minutes, which is not bad at all when it comes to running a dungeon. And getting a little bit of little bit of extra gold. So, all right. So this is the final boss again. He's got the four minions. Uh, any, again, anything that can for sustainability, CC in your opponents, things like that. When it comes to the goblin boss itself, he's he's can, he's pretty strong. He takes a he takes a good uh, a good beating, uh, but he also uh, hits pretty hard. So anything that can CC him, drop his turn meter, things like that is really helpful. And uh, it, yeah, like he, the great thing about these bosses that, that, that they are susceptible to things like stun and freeze and things like that. So I'm actually surprised at that. Most, most uh, games, the bosses are immune to uh, those type of abilities. So in this game, they're not. So absolutely, when you're going into dungeons that have bosses, throw stuff at them that will cause them to get uh, frozen or stunned. And that's where your accuracy comes in because that's your, that's your main stat. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, you definitely want to keep an eye on your gold. Uh, that's the best way to get gold is running those two uh, dungeons. Uh, very important because 
I mean, you're going to use the gold. You have to have gold for everything. So make sure that you're constantly running those two dungeons. Um, that's why it's important to get those, to do those extra things that get you extra energy packs because the extra energy packs is going to allow you to spam those dungeons. And that's what you want to do because you need gold for everything. So, but either way, that's all we've got for this video. If you like what you've seen and you want to see more, hit the like button and join the hive by hitting the subscribe button. And we'll see you on a video soon. Bye-bye.